right, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your um, November 12th through the 22nd read. So, guys, I'm going to do a quick shuffle here on camera with you. And then um, we're going to go over the messages that I picked up on your pre-shuffle. I'm going to do a couple of really quick announcements, and we're going to get right into the reading. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Capricorns, please? For November 12th through the 22nd, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Capricorns, please? Holy Spirit, from November 12th through the 22nd, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Capricorns? What clarity and guidance do my... Capricorns need for November 12th to the 22nd, please, Holy Spirit. All right, Capricorn. So the messages that I picked up on the pre-shuffle were pretty specific. Um, Virgo actually had something very similar. So I feel like, guys, some of you, uh, this may not be for everybody. Don't forget the pre-shuffle messages may not even resonate with the actual reading, guys. Okay, these are just messages that I picked up in the pre-shuffle. It could resonate with maybe one of you, okay? So we have um, a situation on our hands where somebody is getting a little bit of a dose of karmic justice here, okay? Um, I'm feeling that, you know, spiritually you're aware of this or maybe intuitively you're aware and you may be thinking... Um, emotionally about how you hurt someone in the past or maybe someone is thinking emotionally how they hurt you um, or how you were very undecided or about how maybe you treated somebody or how you ended a certain situation with someone in the past um, and now I'm seeing that you may be having a relationship ending uh, paying that debt back okay so let's see what messages we have in the actual reading, all right? Now, uh, Capricorn, just a couple of really quick announcements. Um, if you're currently subscribed to my channel, welcome back. And if you're not, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month uh, for free readings. I give away tarot cards and I give away oracle cards. The winners are always announced in the monthly readings, so please be sure to click that notification bell so you know when those readings post, okay, um, to see if you've won anything. Now, I am taking personal readings. You can visit my website at www.thetaroflight.com. Um, the holiday special has started early, so you get $10 off of a 15-minute reading, and you get $20 off of a 30-minute reading, okay? And again, the information is in the description box below, or you can visit my website. And guys, the... Um, the uh, tarot deck that we're using today is called Celtic Tarot. Now, guys, if this resonates, great. If it doesn't resonate, it's simply not your message, so please don't force it to fit, okay? And don't forget the energies can be vice versa. And this could be for friends, family members, your person, a love connection. Um, this could resonate with anybody in or around your energy. Okay, Capricorn. All right, so under the deck, we have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, King of Swords. <sighs> feeling the need to protect something, feeling the need to speak your truth, um, being emotionally disconnected, trying to use head over heart to make decisions. So what I'm getting here is you're definitely holding back. You're definitely trying to tame your emotions towards something. Um, and I'm feeling here that this may be you wanting to reconcile with somebody, or this could be somebody taming their emotions, wanting to reconcile with you. Now, this could be an ex-wife or an ex-husband. This could be someone that you really have not seen in a long time. I mean, the, 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 the judgment card is... Um, 
like it, the, the relationship is beyond dead okay so this could be with a family member it could be an ex-wife an ex-husband it is someone that you have not been in contact with for a long time but there's a lot of communication that's about to happen i see a lot of text messaging a lot of emailing a lot of phone calls um and someone here is very undecided they're very undecided um because there was a very nasty tower moment here very nasty tower moment in this connection or in this relationship and with the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles i'm feeling here um that you could have had a very abundant relationship with this person and um and now they're doing fine without you now they're doing fine without you they really are. And I'm getting Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone here may reject you, Capricorn, or you may reject this person that's coming towards you. Someone here may not want communication with you. They may not want reconciliation with you. I am seeing that this was a very strong family tie or a very strong soulmate connection, possibly even a twin flame connection, Capricorn. We've got the 1111 card here, okay? This could be the mother of your children, the father of your children, because I'm seeing the 10 of cups, the 10 of pentacles, and the four of wands. I mean, and someone here can't stop thinking about this connection. They cannot stop thinking about this connection. With the sun card here and the mother, the empress, I'm feeling here that, you know, this person, that this new beginning would make this person happier than anything else in the world. I mean, this is all this person thinks about, okay? And again, this could be the mother, the father of your children, um, or this could just simply mean, you know, having a new beginning with you would be the happiest thing that this person can think about. Um, with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Wands, I'm feeling here that someone is really yearning to bring you their love, Capricorn. Um, now, this can be vice versa. It could be you yearning to bring something to someone. We've got Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here. But with the Death card in reverse, I'm feeling that someone is just too heartbroken. Someone here has not healed Capricorn. Someone here has not healed from the pain and the heartache. The Death card in reverse, we could be dealing with a Scorpio. Someone here really has not healed from this. They have not healed from this heartache. And this apology, you know, I feel like an apology is going to be coming in passionately. It's going to come in out of nowhere swiftly, swiftly and, and sincerely with a lot of love and a lot of emotion. Um, but I feel here that karmic justice is in play. Again, we have this justice card. We could be dealing with the Libra. Someone here doesn't want to deal with it. They do not want to overcome the challenges. They don't want to hear the excuses. Someone here just doesn't want to hear anything. With the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords, you know, they mourned. They mourned how you walked away from them or you mourned how how you they walked away from you, okay? This was a really ugly ending. Someone here walked away and I'm talking like left the other person out in the street, left them with no money, left them, you know what I'm saying? Someone here was very cold. Um, and now I'm getting a sense of, you know, obviously with Mercury retrograde, a lot of readings are like this right now, but someone is definitely regretting the decisions they've made. Yeah, see, we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Seven of Pentacles, someone here was really cold and unemotional, and they're thinking about the mistakes that they made in the past, and now they're manifesting, yeah. They're manifesting because maybe they're trapped in a karmic situation right now, and now maybe they're trapped in a similar situation that, you know, it's karma coming back around. They're, they're stuck, and they're manifesting um, they're manifesting a new beginning with you. They want, with the world card and, and the temperance card here, Sagittarian energy, uh, we've got Virgo, Gemini energy here. Someone here is manifesting a new beginning, manifesting healing, manifesting, um, you know, reconciliation, misun trying to clear up misunderstandings. Let's go ahead and clarify this, guys. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, why is the strength card here, please, Spirit? Yeah, someone here is trying to tame their emotions towards making a decision. They know a decision has to be made, but they just don't know what to do. They're trying to, like, really think it through. Again, trying not to use their emotion before they speak. Oh, Hierophant. Yeah, I'm telling you. So for, for quite a few of you, this could have involved marriage because the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and now the Hierophant. Yeah. So some of you may be definitely um, wanting to reconcile with, you know, a, a husband or wife that you're currently separated from or even someone that you actually divorced. Why is the Ten of Cups here, please, Spirit? Yeah, someone here wants to put the work in now with the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please, Spirit? 
Yeah. Uh, I feel that there's going to be a lot of communication in um, about maybe meeting and, and, and you know, because the three of wands in the upright is all about distance. It's all about yearning for somebody. But here I'm seeing that like one person may want to meet to kill the distance, but the other person is like, listen, I don't even miss you. I don't even know where you came from. I'm, I'm not even thinking about you. Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah. Again, we have someone here that is, is you know, making a decision kind of like, what do I do? Because they've healed from this five of cups situation. They've healed and, and the, you know, they've tamed their emotions about it. Why is the nine of pentacles here? I feel like this person is single. This could be you, Capricorn, or your person, but they're single. They've overcome their challenges. Someone here is financially independent, single, and fine. And they don't want any chaos and confusion and illusions and lies coming into their life. Why is the tower here, please? Yeah, someone here wants healing and recovery from this tower. Someone here wants to, you know, make up for it. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here, please? Yeah, but so I feel very strongly that someone here is not accepting the apology. So Capricorn, you know, if you're going back towards somebody wanting this apology, then... Um, If, if someone is coming towards you giving an apology, you're not going to accept it. And if you're going towards somebody wanting to apologize, it doesn't look like they're going to be very uh, forthcoming to accept it. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please, Spirit? Yeah. See, someone here, you're, we've got Capricorn energy here, the King of Pentacles. We have you manifesting healing. You really can't stop thinking about healing and trying to make up with this person. But with the Ace of Wands and the Reverse Spirit, why is the Ace of Wands here, please? Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person is cold. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This person doesn't want to talk. They don't trust you, Capricorn. They do not trust you. Why is the Four of Wands here, please, Spirit? Yeah, this could be the mother of your children. It could be the father of your children. Um, this could just be someone that you found as com some beautiful, like the, the, the Empress is in the embodiment of all four queens. This could be someone that you find to be a soulmate, a twin flame, Capricorn, or they see you in this way. Someone that they can't stop thinking about with the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here, please, Spirit? Yeah, emotionally, they've been fighting themselves over this, or you have been fighting yourself over this for a long time. A lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. You have not thought, stopped thinking about this person for a long time, or they have not stopped thinking about you for a long time. Why is the sun card here, please? Yeah, someone now may be stuck with someone who's very controlling, very narcissistic, Aries Taurus energy, and now they're regretting it. They're, they're stuck in a really, see, we have that the Eight of Swords there again. Someone here may be stuck in a very controlling situation, and now they're missing you, Capricorn, or Capricorn, you're stuck in a really bad situation, and you're missing this X. Why is the Empress card here, please, Spirit? Yeah. This could have been a divorce with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, a lot of money lost, assets lost, love lost, and someone here wants, you know, the world. They want to close that chapter and they want to start something new here. Why is the Knight of Cups here, please, Spirit? Yeah, someone here is thinking about the past, thinking about the mistakes that they made, and wanting to offer that apology, wanting to offer love, wanting to make up for it. Why is the Three of Wands here, please, Spirit? Yeah, someone's wish fulfillment here. I mean, they're yearning for you, Capricorn, or you're yearning for this person, or you're yearning for this person. Why is the death card in reverse, please? Yeah. The problem here is, Capricorn, this is karmic justice, okay? The fact that this person can't forgive, the fact that this person can't change how they feel, they can't change the heartache that was caused, or Capricorn, it's your person's karmic justice, your ex's karmic justice, karmic justice that they want to come back and heal this with you, but you just will not, you cannot forgive them. Why is the Three of Swords here, please? Yeah. This person really, really, really wants to come in and heal the situation. They desperately want a second chance here, Capricorn. So this could be you or it could be your person. Why is the Page of Cups here, please, Spirit? Yeah, someone here is coming in with an offer. They're coming in. This is a soulmate connection. This is a very deep connection. But this also entails deciding between lovers. So Capricorn, you may possibly be with someone right now and now this person is coming back in. Or, you know, Capricorn, your ex may be with somebody. Well, that's a definite because I feel like they're trapped in a really nasty situation right now. 
they're trapped in a really nasty someone here is trapped in a really 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 bad relationship a very toxic relationship and you know they're deciding between lovers and someone is coming forward why is the knight of wands here please yeah someone here is taking action they're taking action the knight of wands is a very fast moving card why is the seven of wands in reverse please spirit Yeah, we've got the King of Cups. Emotionally, somebody is defending themselves, guarded. They are not out. Emotionally, someone is not moving. They're not budging. They're like stone. <laughs> the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, that's an indication of being emotional, but controlling your emotions. And with the Nine of Wands, that's being defensive. That's defending your emotions. Why is the Justice card here, please, Spirit? Yeah, the Justice here is that Capricorn, you don't get the X back. You don't get the X, or the X doesn't get you back. That's karmic justice for what they did to you or for what you did to them. Why is the Five of Cups here, please, Spirit? Yeah. And we have, you know, this person is forever going to carry it with them, or you are forever going to carry it with you, what you did, what you lost, okay? You, maybe you won't tell people about it, maybe it won't be open or whatnot, but in, in the dark, in the darkest parts of your heart, or of their heart, they will never let you go, or you will never let them go. Why is the Five of Swords here, please, Spirit? Yeah. Someone here really regrets walking away. They really regret letting this go with the chariot card in reverse. Someone here feels like they should have stopped and stayed. They should have tried to, yeah, they should have tried to prevent this tower from happening. But instead, they spoke from heartache. They were cold, you know, they were cold and they spoke from heartache. They were mean. And uh, this could have been you, Capricorn. It could have been your person towards you. Someone here was really nasty and they ended it in a really horrible way. And now, you know, it may be over for good. Yeah, first card out, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Someone here has just not taken that person back. Romantic feelings. And I feel like you guys love each other. I feel like you guys both love each other because the feelings are still very raw after all of this time. There's been a lot of separation though. And someone here maybe was way too controlling, narcissistic even. And now, like I said, they're dealing with it themselves. And now they want to make the effort. Now they want to make the effort, okay? But it's too late. Too little, too late. All right, guys. Well, if this resonated, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, um, you can see the details for the holiday sale in the description box below or on my website, www.thetaroflight.com. Take care, guys.